Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel and in today's video guys, I thought that I would take some time out of my day to VOD review my solo cash cup from yesterday's tournament. So basically in this video, I'm going to be going over all my matches and seeing and pointing out the things that I believe I did wrong and some of the things that I think I did right. Now, I think that majority of you are watching this video because you want to improve in solo cash cups yourself and a very big thing for me and I, I truly believe that this is one of the most important things to do is VOD review your own gameplay. Now, not only VOD reviewing your own gameplay will help you out in the future solo cash cups, it'll help you out just getting better game sense in general and not doing the same mistakes you did from before because technically you're just re-watching your matches, right? The point of VOD reviewing is to learn from your own mistakes. But another better thing that you could do is VOD review other people as well, not only yourself because by VOD reviewing other people, you learn from their mistakes and even if you haven't done them yourself it just makes you more aware of them and you'll be prepared more for your own matches by knowing their mistakes and avoiding those too so i highly recommend you to watch this video because it will help you out in future tournaments now without further ado guys if you enjoy this video and want to see more content like this me doing some more educational videos be sure to smash that like button, subscribe with notifications on so you will be notified when I upload another video. And yeah, enjoy. All right, so this is how I place right here. My first three games were very good. Even though I didn't have a lot of kills throughout this whole tournament, I had decent placement. As you see, my fourth game was pretty bad. Then my fifth game was the best one I had. I, I placed second and I choked first place. I could have easily gotten first. My sixth game placed 57. And then this was okay. This is okay. This is okay. And this is terrible. Okay, this one could be pretty terrible as well. I had one kill and I didn't even really get that much placements. So starting off with my first game that I played, four kills, sixth place. All right, so for my first game, I decided to go to Pleasant Park because I thought the first game I was going to W key. As most tournaments, first round or first game is the easiest and you should try to win your first game, right? So I decided to go Pleasant, even though it's not my drop spot where I always drop. In this tournament, I wasn't really consistent on my drop spot, and this is a very bad thing. I think that if you play this tournament, you have to already have uh, it planned out on what you're going to do, you know? And the most important thing is to stick to your plan. You know, if you... Well, if you practice landing Pleasant Park, land Pleasant Park. Don't land Tilted Towers, okay? Maybe for your first game, if you feel conf confident, then definitely do that because you will get more kills, right? But stick to your plan. Whatever you planned out before going into the tournament, follow that plan. As I found out, like, uh, previous tournaments, I never really, like, even though, I, even though I had a plan, I didn't really follow it, right? And then that messed up my game very much. And this brings me into my next point. I see a lot of people just rage quitting their cash cups. They just feel like um, very sad that they lost. They feel demotivated. You know, they just want to quit their first game. They lost. Don't do that. Trust me. It pays off if you play out the full cash cup, even knowing that you're not going to win anything. You'll place in the top like 5,000. Still play it out because it is good practice, right? The next solo cash cup is going to be no different than this one, right? It could be even it could be even more easier because you might not be queued up in with better players, right? So play out your games. Very important. Play out your games and have a plan. So like I said, first game, I landed Pleasant Park. And then I rotated because I wanted to upgrade from the burger. As you know, burger spawns right over here. So I think there was an opponent somewhere there. Let's quickly skip to where my eliminations were. And yeah, there were two opponents here. I thought one of them was my bounty, but there wasn't. And I got kind of lucky here. I kind of missed some of my shots here. And uh, replays is lagging a bit. But there was two guys. I was honestly pretty nervous my first round because I wanted to win. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. But it, it played out pretty decent at the end. So right here, I was using the roof of the house to exploit into his box. Very important to know some of these exploits. Especially with people who are on zero ping. So then I knew there was another guy fighting here so i tried to retake this wall and i did and then he was there i hit him for 87 he didn't get a shot on me same thing over here i as you saw i put the wall i put this wall before he placed it you know and this is very important this is like this is 
this is peace control at its best. You know, you want to be prepared to build wherever your opponent runs, right? So try to read your opponents when you play uh, play tournaments or just play in general. Try to read your opponent's movements and predict where they're going. So I heard another guy here. I, I almost died. As you see, I'm boxed up. None of these builds are mine. So the only place that I could go is inside the house because I know that some of that metal is mine. So that's where I decide to go. Unfortunately, this guy has really bad aim, so he couldn't kill me. He barely hit me for 25. So then I hit him back with my scar. Switch out to my shotgun. Or no, I didn't switch to my shotgun. I don't know. I think my shotgun didn't shoot, which is probably a bug. But yeah, I got him here. And then as you see, stacked on metal, stacked on everything. I have a lot of gold, so I think I go back to burger right here to upgrade my sniper. Let's skip a bit ahead to where I got this kill. And see, this lobby wasn't really stacked. As you see, there's already 33 players. So yeah, I see this guy. I tried sniping him. I wasn't going to touch him. I was just trying to rotate like on the corner of Pleasant, right? That's where I was going to box up. And you know, in this season, guys, I think it's very important to carry a sniper. Like, because there's no mobility. Like, so you don't have to use that slot for, you know, shockwaves or bounce pads. So definitely carry a sniper. Get good with a sniper. Because a sniper is a guarantee if you hit your headshot it is literally like a free llama you literally get a very good refresh now this is where i could have died here because i remember that dude that i just sniped at ran somewhere this direction i thought that he rotated to zone you should always be careful around houses right he's as you see he'll be camping in the roof and i didn't see him luckily he missed his shot i kind of panicked here i got scared tried to place a wall his wall he hit me pretty pretty hard here so then i try to retake the wall I can't retake, so my only chance is to go here. And also, luckily, that he didn't pre-place this uh, wall right here, because I probably would have been dead here. So I have this wall. He takes it. I hit him for 60, I think, with my scar. I hit him again, and then I just beam him with my scar. Sorry, I think I hit him for 60 with my shotgun, and then I just beam him with my scar. Got very lucky here. I have stacked loot right now, a gold scar, a gold lever action, max shields. I have the best heals. I should have won this game. I'm stacked for endgame right now. So then it's pretty casual. I get a free rotate here. No one was really attacking me or shooting at me, I should say. I used dead side. Should have gotten this kill. This guy was very weak. I knew that he was a, a pretty bad player as he, he didn't really know what to do. I, I could tell that he was panicking and I should have gotten this kill. But unfortunately, I didn't. And I hit him. I hit him again for I think I hit him twice for 36. He was like literally one tap and then he boxes up and I just have a very bad angle on him. So I let him go. I think about where next zone is. Like obviously we're waiting here. I'm getting sprayed a bit, which is okay. And I should have got this kill too. I remember this. This guy, I already got him to one hit here. Now there's a moving zone. I don't have too much mats. I have okay mats, but I don't have the, the best material right now. I still have five bounce pads, and this guy, I should have I should have gotten this kill. I should have keyed him. I should have uh, boxed him up here, peace controlled. But unfortunately, someone got him. And you know, look, I jumped into this box because I thought you can't build here. You know, some of some parts of the map you can't build on fences. So that's what I thought. I thought I'm gonna jump in, get a free kill, put a cone down maybe. But the guy, unfortunately, escaped through that thing. And then he, he obviously, like I said, couldn't build there. And he escaped. I'm trying to tarp here. I don't really know. I just moved a little bit away from the guy that I put a stair over. I see someone's bounce pad. I use it. Now, this is really good because right here, you can't, you can't really build too much here right so i decide to not waste my mats as i don't really have that much i think i'm left on like a couple more metal and mostly wood and i see height can't reach me i'm like at just the right angle i could easily snipe height if i if he was peeking a lot so i'm just getting kind of a free rotate here i saw height get lasered i tried i tried getting a good angle to snipe but i couldn't then i saw this guy i boxed him up right there I probably should have broken this stair as it was just built by him and gotten that kill. I also tried to block him out from here, but he goes the other way, so I just let him go. 
by getting a tag on him. I didn't cone him. And I think creative probes, yeah. So now I bounce. Now this is where I really messed up. Because I still had a hundred, I still had decent mats here. So I decided to go under, under the bridge, right? Which is actually a pretty good play. Because I could farm up some wood here. I didn't see anyone here. It's kind of a bad angle to fight in. So if someone jumped in, I would probably get the elimination. Farmed a bit more brick here. As you see, I'm only on 40 metal and 40 brick. I probably should have just started going to the zone. I decided to fight this guy right here. I see that he he's fully open, right? So in my mind, I think that he has no mats, right? He has no mats. I could easily get this kill. I take a shot. I put my own wall right there. I try to jump up. I edit on him. He's gone, right? Now, this is the thing that killed me. I thought that he put a stair and went out. But he's still sitting in that box, and I didn't know that. So I was attempting to break it, but then, I, like I said, I thought to myself that he wasn't there. And he ended up editing out and hitting me for max damage with lever action. And that's how my first game went. 12 points, not the worst game, but I easily should have won this. And I could have won this. I had the potential to. I had the best loot, max mats. I had everything that I needed to win. All right, guys. So for the next few games, I basically just followed dead side. I just got, got some free eliminations. Nothing really to watch here. This game, same thing. I followed dead side. I didn't even have a kill, which was really bad because I was a lot, like I was a bit nervous, you know, I didn't want to go for kills because I thought that I did good for these few matches because I was keeping up with my points, right? Like when I play this game, when I play these tournaments, I think to myself that I should have at least 10 points per match, right? And that's what, that was good until this game. I didn't get my 10 points at all. It wasn't even close. I only got one point from this game until I played my fifth game. Now we're going to watch the fifth game and see what I did, well, how I choked this game and what I did good in this game. All right, guys. So for this game, I landed Misty Meadow and um, I'm pretty good with Misty Meadow. I like that you could get a Dragon's Breath from there, especially in solos. It is very unexpected when someone jumps in your box and you hit them for like 170, right? You don't even have to headshot. The Dragon's Breath is so good. So that's why I tried getting it for the rest of the matches. So this is how my game went. Pretty casual. I only, only two people contested me. I saw one of them. I didn't see the other guy, but I don't think he... He, I think he just rotated out. So right here, I don't have the best loot. So I'm just trying to get a little bit more gold from the couches and just the random furniture that gives you gold, right? Maybe find a few safes to get the Dragon's Breath. If it's purple, it costs only 95 gold. But yeah, as you see, that guy was shooting me, which I built off. But if it's um, golden, it costs like 200, which is a little bit harder to get, but one bounty would be enough to, to get it. As you see, I'm just loading up a bit more. Let's skip a bit to where I got engaged in a fight. Now, yeah, as you see, that guy's still in Misty Meadow. Uh, fortunately, these guys didn't rush me. But I was fighting right here. These two could have easily third partied me. But this is where I got really, really good movement and good aim here. Because as you see, I used the pepper, right? I didn't look at my mats here. And I barely had any mats for this build fight. And I just still decided to fight this guy. And I ran all the way to height with my dragon's breath and the pepper. Just I sprinted super far to get height on him. Which was maybe a good idea if I had, had a bit more mats, but I didn't. So keep track of your mats when you're engaging in like fights, not in houses. Because in houses you could easily refarm walls and stuff. But yeah, I missed my Dragon's Breath here. I did have a charge, so I, I switched to my charge. I let him break it. But as you know, there's a delay between your shotguns. So if you are carrying two shotguns, be aware of that delay. And I couldn't shoot my shot right away. I know it charged up in uh, replay, but that's just a bug. So then I believe that's my cone. Glitch is about, I had it down. I'm down to... 145 uh, builds. That's that's 14 builds, right? So I get down, and then and here I realize I my mats are full, right? So here I'm just trying to stay in my box, not go anywhere. Have three more builds. Try using my big pot. He beams me. I re since I know I have no mats, I start beaming him back. Can get that shot off, and then I realize I have no mats. So I try to go to old builds. I pretend like I'm knocking it down, just so he comes down. Fortunately, my dragon's breath is still reloaded, so I'm just I'm just holding. I'm waiting for him to jump on my face. I tried farming that tree. I thought he was still up, but 
he got on that hill on the left, so he had high ground and a different angle on it. Now, this is where I got, like, very scared because I, I knew I had to hit this Dragon Breath shot if I want to if I want to win this fight. He was a decent player. I thought he went back here. Very, very bad. He almost got me here, right? So I quickly go back. I'm panicking here. Okay, I see him build a wall. I'm like, okay, this is my chance to go. I need to go right here. I have good movement. Go on the right side of the edit so he can't jump shot me on this. Right, and I'm ready. I'm ready for him to edit a window or something. Okay. I try to stand in between so I could hide from the different corners he edits in on the different wall, right? As you see, this is my move. I saw him edit this. I have to go here. I quickly turn. He shoots me for 72, I believe. I don't know how much health I was at, but he hits me very hard. I was 2 HP. One more shot of any weapon, even a pickaxe would have killed me. I hit my Dragon's Breath as well. I hit him for like 180. And then one tap with my AR. And I win this fight. I panic. I get so excited that I didn't lose that fight. And then I loot up. I go refarm the max materials. And then I start rotating into zone. And trying to find the best position in zone. So as you see, I upgraded my charge. I would usually carry a sniper instead of my charge. But I couldn't find any snipers. So I'm just, I'm just farming extra material, waiting for zone, looking for more players that are just like, you know, rotating into to Misty. Right here, I'm in a fight with this guy. He knocked me down originally. I boxed up beside him. He kept on knocking me down. So I decided to fight him because I wasted a lot of mats. I had, I had like a tower set up beside him. So then I decided to take this fight. He obviously decided to run. This player was very bad. I wasted a lot of mats on him. See, this is the problem. As you see, I found a sniper here. And this is the problem because I had I had only one shotgun and only one AR. No SMG and a sniper. Obviously, I can't get into someone's box sniper. But I used my Dragon's Breath. I hit him hard. He's already in white. My boom was bad here. And now I ran out of AR. So now I, I, can't, I can't pressure him right now. I have to reload everything. So I might as well reload my, my Dragon's Breath here. And I tried exploding into his box here, it didn't work, so I just chased him down eventually. I didn't want him to waste too much mats, but he was wasting a lot of it already. As you see, I'm trying to exploit, trying to pre-take his walls. But then I see him healing, and I see that he placed a, a stair right here, so I can easily exploit with that. And I think that's what I do. Yeah, it didn't work. There, it, I'm in his box. And then you see, I pre-placed that floor. I knew, like, by what he was doing, I could already tell that he's going to do the same thing. So I pre-placed that wall. He didn't notice. He thought he probably ran out of metal. I had it in his box. He hits me pretty hard. He hits me for, like, 87. And I hit him with my Dragon's Breath. I didn't hit him for 57. That's just the health he was at. But I hit him for a lot of damage. So, pretty annoying kill to get, but I got this kill. And then, I started rotating back into Misty. This was very good. This zone was very good because it was all on Misty. So, I didn't really have to rotate out of this, my, my landing spot. So, I see this supply drop, and I really wanted to get the bouncers, right? Because I knew I'd need bouncers for endgame. So, I go for this supply drop. I, I saw that no one was around it shoot it down that wall was built by the way I, I did have a wall and one more thing guys if you're playing the game and you're shooting a supply drop but it's not showing the damage markers it's just a bug as you saw right now it did show but in an in, when i was playing the actual game when i was shooting the supply drop nothing was showing up so that was that was uh this this supply drop was a really good thing because i knew i'd get shields from it as well as bouncers yeah and i, I got a big pot i got a purple lever action so I'm drinking my big pot, and I hear this guy, right? I hear him, but I'm like, I have to drink this big pot, right? I probably w won't have time, but I still didn't drink it. Just because I thought I didn't want to throw this game. I was doing pretty good. So quick tip, if you know, like if you hear an opponent coming and you're decent health, like I say, if you're at least 50 shields, you don't really need to heal that much, right? You can always box away, you know, get into a house, hide somewhere and heal. So that's why I didn't take that risk here. And it worked out pretty good. This guy tried taking my walls and he did take my wall. 
So I place a stair right away. All right, so I quickly put a stair back here just so when, because he took that wall, so I just covered myself from the back here. I, I think I tried editing the stair back on him, but I saw that he didn't edit, so there was no point of me editing my stair. So I edit out. I thought I got that wall, but he got it, so I quickly reset mine. Try boxing up a bit. Here, I heard him use his dragon's breath, right? I heard him use his dragon's breath, and I, I unpurposely waited a bit till he comes through this corner. So I quickly put a, a wall here as soon as he was about to shoot. I heard him pull it out. And then this is pretty much a free kill right here. I hit him for 155. He's just a few AR taps. Nothing, nothing hard here. He had a gold one, so I took his gold one. Now, this is where I realized that Storm is coming in. And I had to run, right? I had to run. I was still thinking of what I should grab. I was thinking of grabbing that med kit or that purple lever action. Since it's endgame, you know, there's going to be a lot more third parties getting into my boxes and trying to uh, ruin my fight, you know, and get both the kills. So I heard a guy above me and I was thinking maybe I should go around him, right? But then I'm like, Storm's coming, so I couldn't really do that. So then I just decided maybe he'll leave me alone, right? So I didn't really build that much here, but then I saw he's, he's still shooting me. So I decided to box up and you have the Dragon's Breath. I didn't want to pull the Dragon's Breath out until the last second. Just so he gets, you know, surprised by it and wouldn't expect it. And that's what I did. He took my wall, I think. As soon as he edits, I was ready for it. As soon as someone takes your wall and you have nowhere to edit out, pull out your gun right away. And just try your best to get that shot. I had him for 64 here. Then I had dinked him. And then I got more kills. He had an AK. An AK is a very bad follow-up for the Dragon's Breath. That's why you never see me taking an AK if I have a better gun. Or, or like a better AR. But yeah, I didn't even bother grabbing that loot. I probably should have for the brick, but it's okay. I saw that I had a lot of metal and a lot of wood. So here I decided to pop my minis because I knew that all these guys... Because look, I'm the only one here, right? Look at the map. I'm the only one still not rotated. Everyone else is in the zone. So I knew that someone is... Not a lot of people... Obviously, I didn't know that I was the only one in Misty. But I knew that people are going to be targeting me if they saw me so i avoided building a lot unfortunately someone sniped at me and then everyone else saw and i almost got lobby targeted here i was kind of lucky i tried i had to use my chug splashes here just not to die and then i tried going through these old builds because they're fully built and i knew that no one's going to spray them just to get me someone could have edited through that wall so i tried to get out of there as fast as i can and now i'm in zone zone pulls very far I'm literally on the opposite side, so I had to heal up fast. And I see this guy, right? This guy was very confused. And I was confused too. I thought that he's fighting someone else and editing someone right here. But then when I see this free edit, I was chug splashing, but I'm like, there's no point of chug splashing. I'll just get this kill. So I, I'm like, okay. I quickly edit. He places a cone because he realizes no one was there. And then I just get free, free kill. This is such a good refresh. I got all my mats back. He had a purple attack. Maybe I should have taken that, but I still decided to hold the sniper. Because the sniper could come in clutch. You you never know. You could easily get someone from height. And then just bounce through there. And go around. And right here, this is very important. You guys have to read Dead Side if you want to get, get better in this game and win tournaments. Because Dead Side conserves your mats so much you see i was gonna go through here i was gonna go through the right side but then i look left right i look left and i see pre-built walls already and i'm like i could easily just rotate through there this is such a free rotate for me that's what i do i place a metal wall and look free rotate i go behind these trees you know you want to use naturally built uh uh material like wood and um, brick and rotate through that instead of wasting your mats so right here I have height over the lobby. I see that guy. I knock him down. And I, I, I have height right now, right? I have really good mats. No brick, but I have max wood and max metal. So I look behind. There was a guy behind me. I, I probably should have gotten him. But I'm on height. I think I think to myself, this is my game. I'm going to win this, right? I go a little bit down just in case someone knocks me down. I have a pretty unstable bridge going here. I almost get that guy. Probably should have pressured him a bit more. I see people spraying me. And I see that dude on the left right here. 
He's going for high. He has an RPG. And I hear him that he has an RPG. So I bounce pad because I thought he shot that RPG at me. I see that I mess up here. So I decided to keep a bit more mid ground. You know, I, I didn't go too much for height here. Get an early rotate to the closest side of where his zone's gonna go to. I see that someone knocked height, right? And this is where I thought that I could get it. This is what I go for. This is the guy with the RPG. And I see that the, that's the skin. So I tried boxing him up. I, I really wanna go for this kill because I, I, I noticed that my material was really, really low. And you want to keep track, like the problem with solos, you have to keep track of everything. I probably should have gotten closer to this guy and peace controlled him and then took in the shot. But I only hit him for 29. So yeah, what I was saying, the problem with solos is you have to keep track of everything. Your mats, your heals, the zone, if you want to do good. So I have to reload my dragon's breath. I still have a chug splash. I think I use that. Yeah. And then I start rotating. I see that I have 171 wood. So I think to myself that I probably should get a refresh, but I still decide to keep a little bit height here because I I know that some of these mats, like if zone pulls back, I could just use my old bridge, right? So I know that I won't have to use all of these mats. I'm just hoping for that. But unfortunately, zone pulls even farther. So I th the guy bridges down. I look if anyone's for height. You know, if you guys are on height, always keep an eye on height. Just in case someone bounces above you, you never know, right? So whenever you see someone, quick tip, whenever you see someone going up, like one layer below, you just spray them. Spray them, pressure them until they go back down. So right here, I saw that guy. I obviously moved away. And then I see them fighting, right? A kill here would have been so much better. But then I'm like, I have to go for that loot. Maybe I'll get the guys. I have my Dragon's Breath reloaded. I reloaded my Scar. And then I see him. I try spraying him. Unfortunately, he gets, he, he breaks down. I pre-take that cone get into his box my mats are looking pretty good for this zone i see the wood and i see a flopper so i think to i think of going back okay i'll go back i get max wood i get that one flopper i try breaking out i use that flopper bouncer to zone and i'm on hide again i thought that someone was on hide there but i just got shot from below okay i see that i'm burning right and that's the problem when you guys are carrying a dragon's breath always use brick right use brick before using your wood because brick won't burn as much as wood i was scared that i will get burned down here so i kept on looking back a bit but then i noticed that i wouldn't so right now there's five guys i see this guy here i decide to get this elimination but unfortunately he ran away now i was panicking here because i was in like Obviously, what I'm, I was about to win the game. I really thought I was going to and I was panicking and this is the thing guys You you really shouldn't panic and I know it's hard because you can't really control that but just Just think to yourself that it's just a normal game, you know, like I know this sounds kind of ridiculous But try you know some breathing techniques like breathing, you know in with Slowly and then just calming yourself down, especially when you're on height and no one's pressuring you. That's what I did and I noticed that it's uh uh, three people left and then I'm, I am getting shot down so I have 15 bouncers I get shot down and I'm like okay this is my kill this guy's in storm he's low he's shooting this guy he gets killed I hit him for 160 160 he he is lower than me I have more health than this guy so I'm like this is my game I still have wood I think the dude has no mats right and I decide to reload my dragon's breath here even though he could have shot me down I get it off. I get this dragon's breath off. I see him there. And this is what lost me my game. He misses his shot, but I take my shot there and I miss it. I don't hit him at all. And he knows that I took my shot. And obviously like any smart player would, he starts spraying me, pressuring me so I can't reload. I did have some mats. I probably should have extended into zone, but I decided to jump on him with my scar being one hit and just spray and pray. Which didn't work. I died second place. This game really got me a lot of points. As you see, I got like 20 something points out of this game. Had a lot of kills as well. Even though I threw this game, it was honestly the best game I had. So that's pretty good. So that was my fifth game. Best game I had. The next three games were just dead side rotates, playing for placement, and uh, getting some cheeky snipes and some AR eliminations. But this is 
where my most two most important games come in besides this one so my ninth game i have like 25 minutes left right for the tournament because it ends at i think eight and starts at five so we have three hours so i have 25 minutes i know that i can't play this full game out because i'm i'm scared to queue up because my queue time was pretty bad it was like five plus minutes so this game i thought to myself i'm gonna rush this game right and I did have six eliminations, same thing, landed miss, got the dragon's breath, just jumped into people's boxes, pressured everyone, tried peace controlling everyone, you know, pre-placing builds, reading my opponents. But this game, I ended up just dying to, to a complete bot. And I should have played this game out. And I could have, I still probably wouldn't have won, but I easily would have won this game. These This lobby was a very bad lobby. As you see, I placed 27th and it was literally like the third zone. It was it was very bad. That's why I keyed every single guy. So I had a, a Scar, Dragon's Breath, Sniper. And then this is this is the mistake I did. I, I didn't play this game out. I just full on died to a complete bot. And I was obviously the all the pressure was on this game, but this game was stacked. It had really good, really decent players, really uh, stacked zones as well, but I died off spawn. There was a lot of people going misty. I didn't get a gun. I literally got tapped out of the sky. And that concluded my tournament. And this will conclude the VOD review. So if you guys enjoyed, like I said previously, subscribe with notifications on. Leave a like. Tell me in the comment sections below what you guys think I did wrong. Maybe I didn't point something out. And yeah. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video. Have a good day everyone. Good luck for next tournaments.